Good morning, it's me. I'm back. I'm Stephanie Flass, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Yes, it is me. First time I've had my hair down in months. Don't even know how long. <laughs> but it's chilly, so I can. Uh, so today is September 22. It's 10.30 a.m. and I'm on my business page um, at facebook.com slash dazzled by stamping. If you want to find me any Wednesday at 10.30, uh, if you want to find me any other day, um, any other time, you can find me on my website at dazzledevicestamping.com. And sorry, I always have an itchy nose. I'm sure that's probably distracting for you that watch me, but it's always itchy. <laughs> uh, so let me know when you're on. I'm going to pull me up on the computer here so that I can see comments better. Hi, Sherry. I saw your email. I need to, I, I just didn't have time to respond. Um, uh, let's see if I need comments. Good morning, Lenny. Good to see you. Man, I totally had to adjust my camera. I slid, I moved it. I did something and it was way up, which is totally unlike it. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. So today today if you're a demonstrator I just want to mention to you today is the last day to um, register for on stage um, so I'll just mention that to my demonstrator friends who might be on here um, I hope you registered it's amazing training that we always get I got in in time to get a swag bag love it can't wait to see it of course <laughs> um, and let's see and celebration hi jamie i'm glad you're here um celebration we have one more week to go we have through next thursday for a couple things first of all hostesses get an added bonus stamp set if they have a 300 hundred dollar party or if you just place a 300 hundred dollar order you know that's okay too um uh customers and demonstrators alike anybody who places at least a $50 order um, hi Marsha gets a free celebration item hi Marlene excuse me um, and if you place a hundred dollar order you have you can choose um, there's one or two items that require a hundred dollar order instead um, but there's plenty of $50 ones but Every $50 that you spend gets you a free item or uh, unless you choose the higher value so that you, so that it requires a hundred. Um, so that, as far as I know, because I just went through it last night actually, cause I'm, I don't know, I, I'm working on a post already for later. I'm trying to be ahead, work ahead. Um, uh, every celebration item is available except the bedazzling um, specialty paper um, so it's funny I I saw the name and I should want that because of my team name my website name whatever I love the whole dazzling thing but I don't know I just it looks cool on stuff, but it just wasn't something that I wanted to work with. So, hi Carrie, I'm glad you're here too. Um, so anyway, I didn't ever get that, so I don't even have any to be able to substitute for for something else ordered. But anyway, all the rest of the stuff is available as far as I know. Um, let's see, oh, and so the last thing is being a team member of mine. You can do that anytime, obviously. I'm always talking about that and how I love my team, love people to be on it, but you get an added bonus through September 30, which is next Thursday, of um, besides getting free shipping, 20% um, more product, so you get $125 of product rather than um, 99 that you pay for. Um, you also get an added bundle from the um, I call it holiday mini catalog um, so that gives you a value of your kit just for product itself not for like the business supplies that you also get um, that gives you a savings of 
I always have to figure out which one's which. 42 to 51 percent savings on the product that you get. So that's sort of crazy and fun and come be part of my team. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you have through next Thursday to get um, bonuses. So let's see. So I have uh, several of you on here. So I'm going to go to the randomizer. So we have chocolate at stake here. <laughs> Uh, I forgot if that was the first or last thing that I showed last time. Um, so we have chocolate at stake and an adorable Christmas card. I have everybody loaded up. Um, so for those of you who may be new to my videos, um, hi Nancy! For those of you who may be new to my videos, um, whenever you share my video and then come back and tell me on this, um, this post that I'm making this video right now when you come back and say that you shared then I add you to my randomizer um, and draw names to give away everything that I make today so I'm drawing the names for last week so I'm starting it right now Jamie Rose woo woo um, I need to write it down I don't know why it takes me a minute before I remember that every time congratulations Jamie do I still owe you something? I feel like I sent you your thing recently. I know I owe at least one person something. I think I owe Lynn Hodges something. Okay, picking another name. Randomizing right now. Linny Persons, woohoo! Congratulations, Linny. I think I sent you yours already too from a few times ago. Okay, yay, we're done with business. Okay. So I will, oh, so Jamie, you gotta come to Grand Rapids to, for chocolate. We're, I'm just gonna go with that. So Jamie gets chocolate. So if you're not willing to come down to Grand Rapids for chocolate, I might have to give it away to somebody else or send it without the chocolate. I could send you the bag without the chocolate. You tell me what you wanna do. Um, we're gonna go in that direction. Okay, so I have my randomizer done. I don't know, I feel like there's stuff that I have to do first, but I don't know. Okay, so today, those of you who have been to my club this month, you're kind of gonna get a, you're gonna be a little bit familiar with what I'm showing, because I'm just um, turning a couple of my ideas on end and doing something a little bit different with them that you've already seen or done um, but they're so much fun so I want I'm today I don't know if you hi how are you Dina I don't know how you can find me <laughs> I've been on for a while I I don't honestly know if I was on time I think I was on time but it could have been close but I've been here hi Diane um, so I don't know if you see my blog posts or if you see my other posts or um, whatever on Facebook, but this week on my blog has been Halloween week. Um, I've had so many Halloween samples. I think we just have such cute sets in the catalog this time. I'm not a Halloween person, but um, you know that I got the cutest Halloween. Love it. I'm going to be using this. Um, and I just have a, I just have a bunch of samples so um, I've had I've, I've posted a couple in the past but I think I've had a couple from um, a different set each day um, so that's been cool and then I got two more in the in a swap that I just got I have I need to show you I need to show you in case you've not been at my clubs or classes recently. I can't, can't even lift it. Whoops, and I just dropped one. This is all the swaps and samples that I have right now. It's crazy. Um, where did it go? And this. I needed to put it in a bin. They were too much to put on the table by themselves. Um, I, I don't know if I've ever had that many swaps all at one time. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so I had lots of... I know. I, I'm glad that you're here today, though. I almost missed you. I, it seems that you were on while I was 
live last week, but I totally missed your comment while we were live, while I was live. And then I almost missed your liked and shared. So thanks for doing that, by the way, um, from last week. I was going through again last night before I did my randomizer. And I know it is a lot of cards. Um, just craziness. So um, anyway, thanks for sharing. Appreciate it. So, back to Halloween. So, today I'm playing with Cutest Halloween and Textures and Frames. So, this is one of the items that you can choose as a celebration item. Um, I love graphic kind of things like this. Like, it makes me think of Gorgeous Grunge. Do you remember that? I love that one so much. And it seems like somebody just showed me a card that they used or, with, or got with somebody using it. I don't know. I loved this set. I just loved playing with these shapes. Um, so anyway, both of my projects today are going to be working with both of these. And um, so I'm going to um, put you down and start working. So I need my magic wand. Backwards, upside down. And here we go. Okay. And I have my magic silicone mat. <laughs> have you guys all ordered one by now? Have I been talking about enough? It's it's um, amazing. So I have enough now that whoever's here stamping with me, um, I can pass it around on the tables. So I told you that I'm using Cutest Halloween and Textures and Frames. Um, I also used a folder. I'm not sure if you can see it on here. Oh, and I don't even remember the name. Okay, can somebody who is not me, <laughs> I don't know where I have my mini catalog. This folder, I feel like it's called Stars and Stripes or something like that. This is in the mini catalog. You were just talking to, oh, hi. I, I, um, I miss seeing her, Jamie. Um, tell her hi back, of course. Um, so this is in the mini catalog. There's um, lines here that are sort of like checks or stripes or I don't know what you call it. And then there's stars here, this folder. So it's in the Christmas thing, sort of intended for Christmassy, but I don't know, I just liked it. And so I'm using it on my card today, so you might be able to see it better on this cardstock. I already used it. It's not a 3D, it's a regular folder. Um, so anyway, this was the start of my card. So now I need, so I have a square um, of basic white. I don't need this right now because I'm not using adhesive. Um, and I'm using pumpkin pie. And I'm using, I need to get these pieces out of the way. I'm using this, um, this solid circle, okay? So this one's a solid circle, this one's just a ring. So I'm using the solid circle in pumpkin pie. And I'm going to stamp once and twice. And I do have, if I didn't say this already, I do have cushion underneath here. You need it for photopolymer so that you don't, so that you get a good image. And I'm stamping once and twice. So I just sort of made a grid, I guess we'll call it. Um, now what I want is there's this paint splatter thing. So I'm using this in pumpkin pie again, and I'm inking it up both times and stamping on the lighter, the stamped off um, circle. Okay, now, which I'm done with both of those, I don't need this. Okay, now what I want is, you know that I love the Hey Boo. I've said that already several times, right? The Hey Boo has to be on here, so we're going to ink up Hey Boo, and we're going to stamp it on this circle. Too cute. I love it. Just like 
XJ ink there in between or something. Um, and then star crossed embossing folder. Thank you so much, Dina. So as you can see by the price, it's not a 3D. Um, and um, thank you. I appreciate that. I totally could not remember the name. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't save... I don't save my paper packaging. I don't save any of the packaging for my folders. I just have them plain. So I have my Hey Boo Trick or Treat here. And now I'm going to put it together, sort of. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this, oops, got to get it started at least. So I'm going to put this on my basic black. And then I'm going to, where did I put it? Did it fly? I can't find my ribbon. Just a sec. I, I have a piece cut somewhere and I don't know where it went. It just didn't think it was that windy with my with my fan on. Okay, so I'm going to tie my ribbon on here. By the way, I'm really sorry that I'm showing you something that you can't get right now. This is non-orderable right now. As you can imagine, it's wildly popular. I adore it. I think I, I, think I have two... two um, rolls just waiting for me to break into. <laughs> I love it. Um, besides this one. Okay, I did left over right, right over left, and I'm putting this right in the middle here. Because what I want to do before I put this on this is another favorite part of my, um, of this set. I love this silly spider. I don't love him in person, but I love this one. So I'm putting this silly spider here. And so that means I need my marker. So I put him right here and I want to make it look like it's coming down from behind the ribbon. So I'm going up to just behind the ribbon. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so my card's almost done, but not quite. All right, so I need dimensionals. I'm just going to go one. I don't know why I have to count when I didn't do it, because it doesn't really matter how many I do. I just want it to be popped up. I know, I love the spider, Dina. Okay. So, we're going to put this here. And then, I'm still not quite done. I have one more set of steps. So, I wanted a little... I'll say embellishment. I'm not sure it would be called an embellishment, but I wanted something. So I'm going to stamp my... I hadn't used on my live, at least. Um, actually, I don't think I had at all. I hadn't used my punch. So I'm stamping my cute little ghost in... I almost called it lavender lace. I don't know why I always have, think Highland Heather is very much like it, but I haven't used lavender lace in forever. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so I'm going to put my little ghost face on. Ha! <laughs> Too cute. And then, oh, and sorry, I don't remember if this is non-orderable or just back-ordered, but it's one of those two. So I'm going to come in and punch them out. And 
So at the top, because of where I want to put it at the top, I want to put adhesive. But at the bottom, I want a dimensional because he's kind of going to be overlapping what's already popped up. So I'm going to put him right here. So he's stuck to here, but he's popped up back here. And here's my card. I'm all done. All right. So, um, oh, I'm going to wait. So there was another card that inspired this one. Um, and I'll show you those later when I pop up and, and re-show you the cards because we know that they show up better when the camera's up. Okay, so that one's done. Oh, hi, Lisa Marie. Thank you. Um, all right, so the next thing that I want to do, I actually sort of stole somebody's idea um, or used their idea, I guess. Um, I am using... No, I'm 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 gonna back. I know I love all those textures too. Um, I am going to back up a little bit. So I'm using these boxes. Where did my package of them go? I don't know where they are. Here they are. Okay. So these boxes they come in a package of ten. They're a two by two by two box. They're called Simply Classic Treat Boxes. And I will be honest with you that I had to watch a video to figure out how to put them together. <laughs> they were like, um, I don't, there's too many flaps. I could not figure it out. So I watched a video. Um, thanks for sharing, Marilyn. And hi, Terry. Hi to both of you, actually. Such a busy morning in the office. Well, you know, I guess you need to do a little work sometimes. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm showing these boxes. I forgot how much they are. They're probably eight dollars, seven dollars. I don't know. I, I'm not prepared with that information today. Sorry. I will put it in on my blog. Hi, Julia. <clears throat> okay. So, like I said, I had to watch a video to figure out how to put this silly box together because there's an extra flap, and I didn't get it. I'm like, what is going on? What, what is this? So I will show you right now. So there's this little extra flap that's sort of crazy. So this is a box bottom and top. And you first tuck in this extra flap. Make sure that it's folded in well. I did not know what to do with that. Then you tuck in the sides. And I already creased these, so they're, that's why they're going down so easily. Tuck in the sides. Then you fold this in, and then you can fold this flap in and tuck it in. So now you have a box that's all, there's no, you don't see the flaps inside, it just looks like a nice clean box inside. So that's that's the bottom, okay? So the top is the same. You put down this little flap, and then the two sides, and then this top, and tuck in the extra little flap. And there's this little, this little loop thing here that it's kind of funny. If you glue it together, you could make this an ornament. But um, but then, because of that little flap inside, it looks all gold inside, too. So, nice and cool. So, um, so then you have this. i got to show it the right way. There. There you have this box that's all put together. But, of course, I still want to decorate it. That's just me. Um, so, I'm going to... And I might as well... No, I'll do it later. You know there's going to be chocolate in it, too. Um, so I have this piece of cardstock. I already have a, a score line in it because whenever... So I'm going to wrap... Um, I'm going to wrap this box. And I... Whenever I wrap boxes, I don't put all the score lines in right now because I find it hard to score at the right spot like it's a two by two by two box but I can't just go two inches four inches because it's going around the corner it's just a little bit um, you need a little bit more so I just put one score line in so I have a good start for where I want it to be and then I'll do the rest later once I have this stamped so <clears throat> I don't need this um, right now so I'm going to make my own designer paper. 
that was that's the idea that I'm stealing and the colors I'm stealing also and I forgot from who I, I think it might have been a Stampin Up artisan designer um, I don't know I don't remember um, but I screenshotted is that the right term <laughs> I took a screenshot of something that I wanted to do so it works out lovely I'm using this stamp I better show you on the box it's easier to see I'm using this stamp um, from the textures and frames to do this and with all the colors that I want to use I'm going to be doing lots of cleaning so I better open this up so that it's ready and I can be quicker um, I'm going to spray it now too so it's just all ready I prefer my Stampin' Scrub to my Simply Chamois. All right, so I figured out, this is lovely. This is about, I'll just say, approximately an inch wide, and I'm gonna be using it up and down. And so I'm gonna use my grid paper. I don't know if you guys regularly use grid paper. I don't a lot, um, but it's great if you need to measure something. So I'm just, I'm not making any measurements or any marks on my cardstock. But I'm, I can line up with each inch on here. So, um, so I know that I can fit this here and I can go as many spaces as, as I need to to skip color. So I can just stick with one color at a time. So this is Mango Melody. I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to have four colors total. So there's one, two, three, four. And so I need, is that right? One, two, three, four, yep. Count twice, stamp once. <laughs> That's true, usually used for cutting, but. <clears throat> um, and then I need one, two, three, four, and I can get one more Mango Melody on the end here. So now I can clean my clean my um, stamp and go on to my next color and not worry about it. Um, I'm going to set it aside because I'm going to need it again later. So this is Granny Apple Green. I'm going to ink it up. And I'm going to go in my next inch. So I'm coming down. So I'm with, I have this cut to a quarter, an inch and a quarter wide, nine inches long. So it'll go around an eight inch, eight inch total box. I just wanted the extra inch for overlapping. Um, so I'm, it does not fit this whole stamp. So I'm just kind of going back and forth where I put the, the brushed edge. Does that make sense? Um, so I'm gonna go up here. And that's all that I can fit on of that color. Hi, Kathy. I'm glad you're here. Even if you forgot me, I don't know how you can. <laughs> Actually, I totally know how you can. I forget things all the time. I have many reminders all the time. And I still can forget. Okay, so this is Gorgeous Grape. I haven't used this color in quite a while. <clears throat> it's really dark. Uh, so I'm going to go here, and I'm actually going to go, oh, ink again. I'm going to go here again. I just, I don't want it to exactly be up, down, up, down every time. I want it to be more random, so I changed that. Okay, and then the last color that I'm using is basic gray. So this one is actually going to be... I shouldn't have scored it first. It would look better if I didn't. Because right now it's going to be... Like it's not going to show in between the... Maybe if I press it really hard, it'll show in between the inked and the score line too. I should have waited till later to score, but oh well. Alright, ink it up again. And then come down here. All right, so here's the start of my, um, I'll say designer paper. It is cardstock though. All right, I'm leaving that open. 
Now, I'm, I'm totally, this next part, I'm just sort of going by how the designer paper looked that I saw. And I want to add some, some paint sprinkle things. So in this, in the lighter colors, you can see it pretty well, actually, um, even though it's the same color. So I'm just adding some splatter with that. I need to clean this. So I'm totally done with this color. I'm gonna add some in the Granny Apple Green. Clean this. Now, the Gorgeous Grape is too dark, but that's okay. Um, because we're going to add all kinds of other sprinkles. Gray works. Okay, so here's my next level of stamping. I know this is a lot of work for making your own designer paper, but if you want colors that you want, you just can do it. And plus, I'm making use of my freebie stamp set that I got. So that's always a bonus. All right, so <clears throat> next thing that I'm doing, oh, I do want this, I decided. Not sure if I did this on my, on my sample or not, but no, I didn't. So I'm not, I'm not sprinkling with that. I'm just sprinkling now with Memento. Okay, so there are two different stamps that I'm using to get more, no, I guess it's just one. One stamp. I had one in mind, but I, a different one in mind, but it was sort of too big and I didn't want it. So this sprinkles that I'm using is not from either of these stamp sets. It's actually from, um, you, you guys might have it. It's the bubbles from Well Done. Um, I just wanted something more fine. And it's kind of going to go everywhere that needs a little bit more sprinkles. I, won't, I don't want it all to just be within the color. I want it to be kind of everywhere. So I'm going to kind of go all over. So it'll get the paint sprinkles even on the gorgeous grape that is so dark. So I'm just trying to make this look splattered. So sometimes you can stamp off, sometimes you can just go full on, however you want it. So this looks a little bit more natural so it's not all just on the, the colored area. Okay. Now we're going to put it on, on the box. Okay, so, <clears throat> oh, I forgot to bring it. Just a sec. I forgot my tear and tape, just a sec. I think it's hiding here somewhere, but I didn't remember to make sure it was near me. So I want to do two things. First of all, so I'm lining my score line up with one of the corners. And then this is how I do, how I um, wrap my boxes. So I'll line it up and then wrap it around here, wrap it and sort of press around here press around here so I get sort of a good good line and then I'll go back and use my bone folder to to give it a good crease gotta find it so then I don't have to worry about measuring it measuring where my score lines go on this but it gives the box a good fit so now before I put it back together I'm going to 
I'm going to put tear and tape on both ends of this. One I want to stick to the box. I want it to stay as a decoration of the box. And the other one I want it to obviously attach to the other end. And then I want something in the middle so it doesn't just slouch on the front. So I'll peel these off here. One, two. Again, I don't know why I have to count. <laughs> So if you struggle getting these off, which sometimes happens, you can use like your paper piercing tool or a push pin or a, <laughs> if you have a needle around somewhere, I, I don't know, something, something pokey so that you can, oh, where's my front? doesn't really matter which one's the front because you're not going to be opening the box from the top anyway. You're not lifting that up. All right, so then once I get back here, I just need to make sure that I line it up well. So my box is all decorated. And then I need a tag. <clears throat> so I already cut the tag, um, but I want to show you what I used. I think I've shown this on my live before. So these are tailored tags. This is not part of a bundle. It's just all by itself, but you have four different sizes of tags in two different designs. This has a circle and this has more of a like an oblong thing, so I'm using this one. And then these two pieces are to make reinforcements for your tags. Um, so and it's stitched, of course, so I love that. So I used this already and um, and cut out this tag, okay? So now what I want to do is, did I clean that? I don't think I cleaned it. The whale bubbles, um, I'm using that again in Gorgeous Scrape. And I'm just kind of, I wanted something really fine when I did it with the, the big paint splotches from the frames and textures and frames or whatever it's called. It was too much. So we needed just the fine texture. So I'm using Hey Boo again. I was going to use a different, a different, oops, I just grabbed my tear and tape. I was going to use a different one. I'll show you. I was going to use Treat Yourself. That would have gone perfectly on here, except I really wanted Gorgeous Grape, and it did not show up well on such dark cardstock. So, Hey Boo works for me. So we're stamping it right on here. Haha, <laughs> love it. Here we go. And then look at this magic. It fits right on here. Ha! Ah! So we got, I gotta show it to you right. So we have Hey Boo. We have our cute little packaging. And I forgot, I do want to put another embellishment and I'm just gonna use the one that I already, that I already, um, already stamped him and punched him. This was gorgeous grape this time. And where'd my dimensionals go? We had a question I probably told you this already. Probably tell you many things, many times. We had a question <clears throat> getting ready for um, Backstage, which is a leader event um, for a game show. Um, the question was, <clears throat> what's um, one thing that you're constantly losing? <laughs> it was supposed to be like Family Feud type, and um, I said dimensionals. I'm always misplacing them. All right, so here's my, oops, can you see it? I can't see it well in this light. Suddenly it's getting sunny, which is great because I need to take some pictures. Okay, so I'm all done, so I'm gonna pull you up. I'm gonna un ups, upside down you, put you backwards again, and here I am. Okay, so I'll start with, I'm so glad you like it, Marsha. So I'm going to start with my box. So here's my box. Oh, the colors are so much better up here, but I want to go all the way around. So I just have 
So this worked really out really well using my grid paper for this. And then here's my here's my tag, hey boo. So you totally could make this into like a Christmas ornament, but you'd have to make sure that you <clears throat> that you adhered the box top to the bottom. Thank you. Um, because otherwise, if you hold it like this, it'll slide off. Oh, and I forgot. We're including chocolate. And sorry, Kathy, you don't get the dark chocolate one this this time in case you are the winner. She was my hostess last night, and I made sure she had dark chocolate. So I have one chocolate left, and it's dark, and it's being saved for my husband. Because he's a good guy. Okay. So, oops, I'll show you. Oh, there's one, that reminds me, one more thing. Okay, so only two of these um, lint chocolate balls will fit in here. But, so, I told you I had to watch a video to be able to know how to put these together, you know? So the lady that, don't have a clue who I watched, um, the lady that was making these, she put in Ghirardelli chocolate squares. They actually fit in this, five of them. So, um, so what you have to do though, I didn't buy Ghirardelli chocolate because, um, because I'm frugal we'll call it. <laughs> I went to get it. I had to go last minute to get my chocolate. And where I went, the Ghirardelli chocolate squares were, um, they were twice as much as the Lint chocolate balls for half as many chocolates. And I was like, mm -mm. they wouldn't have gotten five of them. I, I wouldn't have given my hostesses five of them. Anyway, they would have gotten two. But, um, but anyway, so five Ghirardelli chocolate squares fit in here and but what you need to do is you need to sort of you know how they have a the flaps like like a bag top or whatever so you need to make sure that those are up a little bit and you um you tuck it in up at the top just one of them and it sort of doesn't really want to go down well so it's just sort of wedged in the top and then you put another one on top of it and you keep pressing it down so then they <laughs> yeah, dark chocolate. I know, it would be a really cute ornament, Julia. Um, anyway, so perfect for Ghirardelli chocolate. So this would be a great party favor size of gift. And I'm sorry, I don't remember how many, you what, what the price is, but I'll be putting that on my blog and linking to that. So there's that one. Um, and then I'll go back to my other card. So here is... Here's the other card that I made. I just love this set. It is too cute. Um, I slid this a little bit. All right, so here's this one. And then, um, so here is my inspiration. For some reason, I just was in a Bumblebee mood, I guess. And I forgot that this card sex actually called Bumblebee. But anyway, so this was my first one that I came up with. And then this is... Uh, that tie isn't done very well. This is um, what I did with my clubs. Um, I chose, thanks. Um, I chose this color because I had two of this ink pad. So then when we have to use this so much for the, the big circles and then the splotches and anyway. So it was helpful to have a second one. Otherwise, everybody had gotten a bumblebee card. Um, oh, and so obviously this happy birthday is from The Biggest Wish. Love that stamp set. So, yeah, that was what I... Thank you so much. I'm glad that you love it. Um, so those... I think that was all that I had to show you. Um, I feel like I've been gabbing forever. I mean, I, mean, I re realize that's my job, but... <laughs> um... Hmm. Am I forgetting anything? I know you don't know what's in my head, but I, I just double checking. Oh, duh! I have to tell you in case you didn't see somehow. Um, so I confirmed yesterday that our November 6 crafting retreat is a go. Yay! Um, so I sent out invitations through Facebook. I sent emails to some people that I thought might not see on Facebook. Um, and 
So this is always the way for crafting retreat specifically. I feel like um, the more we have it, the more people are going to want to, to, oh, sorry, I just confused myself. Um, the more we have it, the more people are going to want to be involved, but there's only so much space. So um, it's first come, first serve. I know. That will be a wonderful way to celebrate. So it's actually on my birthday. So I might have to make one of the um one of the desserts that we um that we do. It might have to be a birthday cake. <laughs> um I just have to decide where I want it from. Um anyway, November six. Um registration will close October sixteen. Um spots are first come, first serve, and you it's not reserved until you pay for it. Um, that is, you can tell me that you want to come, but until you register with payment, um, that's what saves your spot. Because obviously um, Nadine has people that want to want to come, and my people want to come, and so um, anyway, I'm so excited. We're we're um, planning stuff, and uh, it's just fun. Um, so make sure that you find that. Oh, I'll put a link in this post too um, so that you can go find it. But if you go to dazzledbystamping.com, dazzled I have it pinned right to the top. So it was the last post, but it'll stay there until, um, until registration is closed. So now I think that's it. That's what I was forgetting. <laughs> okay, so that's all that I have for you today. I will see you again next next Wednesday. Oh, it will still be September. It will still be celebration. I have in mind sharing more celebration um, swaps on my blog next week. So obviously here too. Um, I don't know what I'm planning for my live, but... Um, I found another bag of swaps that I forgot about. It was like, here's my celebration bag. <laughs> so I have lots more to share with you. So thanks for joining me today. Have a great day and I will see you again next week. Remember to share um, and thank you for sharing and I will um, put you in my randomizer for next week. Have a great day. Jamie, make sure you let me know. Are you coming to get chocolate or you want me to send it without chocolate? <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh, sorry, Dina, spider is from, well, there's a couple of different stamp sets that have a spider, but um, this one is from Cutest Halloween. Um, I think the punch is on either on back order or not orderable, though. Yes, you did win. How did you miss it? You were my first winner. Um, so, yes, tell me what you're doing about chocolate, because I might have to give it to somebody else if you're not ready, willing to come down here. I can just mail you the cute little bag, but... If you want the chocolate, you got to come. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, I was wondering why you didn't, why you didn't um, react. I'm like, I must have just missed her comment. <laughs> okay, have a wonderful day. I'll see you next week. Bye.